In this video series, we're going to focus on reviewing how to simplify radicals. And so in this first video, we are going to look at how to simplify numerical radicals. So if we have real numbers A and B, and if A squared equals B, then we consider A to be the square root of B. And so if we look, we've learned before, and so this is all review, how do we simplify radicals? Well, what we've done in the past is we try prime factorization. You break down the number inside the radical into factors of it. And so if I take a look, 75, I'm going to say, is 25 and 3. And so then I break down 25 into 5 and 5. And so I see I have a pair of 5s. So I can take out one 5. And inside the radical is still a 3. And so we have 5 radical 3 is the simplified square root. Now these 5, 5, 3, these are the prime factors of 75. But as we go further, we start to learn the pairs don't have to be prime factors. You just need to find pairs of numbers. And so if I want to take square root of 360 and I want to simplify it, I'm going to break it into numbers that I can see right away. I see it ends in a 0. And so that means, you know, 10 is a factor of 360. And what's nice about this is I see 36 times 10 is 360. And what's nice about 36 is 36 is a perfect square. And what's great about trying to find your perfect squares when you're breaking down in your factors is look what happens is if I break a perfect square into some the factors, I get 6 times 6 is 36. Right away, I get a pair of 6s. I can break 10 down into 2 and 5. And so I have a pair of 6s. I don't have to do prime factorization. I already have a pair, so I can stop. And inside the radical is still the 2 times 5, which is 10. And so 6 square root of 10 is the simplified radical. So the bottom line is you can do your factorization. If you want to go straight to primes all the way every time, it's just going to take more time. Go until you see pairs. And so the smart numbers to choose are your perfect squares, which are you know 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64, then you have 9 squared is 81, 10 squared is 100. I'm going to go up here, you know, 11 squared is 121, 12 squared is 144, 13 squared is 169, and then you have 14 squared 196, 15 squared 225. If you're in algebra 2, you should have memorized the first 15 perfect squares. You should have memorized one squared, which is easy, um, all the way through 15 squared. This whole list you should have memorized. It will make your simplifying radicals easier because you know try and find one of these numbers that goes inside the radical. So move on to the next videos, which we will cover how to simplify radicals that actually have variables inside of them.